All right, so in the first video for this game, we just looked at setting up the basic background and getting the places everybody. It's time to do our first increment where we actually get the motion of the shark. Right? So we want to go into the shark, and we want to have the shark move around based on where my mouse pointer is in the screen. There's a couple of different ways we could do this. You'll recall that in the Pong game that we looked at at the beginning of this module, the Pong slider was designed to follow my mouse around exactly. And so if I move the mouse very quickly, the Pong uh, paddle jumped very, very quickly. And it did that by basically doing the following. I'm going to reproduce that right here. We, in a separate block, we're going to have a, a green flag clicked. And what we're going to say is that when the green flag is clicked, I want to forever have the mouse jump to wherever my mouse pointer is. Right? And I can get that from the sensing menu. Um, we can see here that I have mouse X and mouse Y as uh, blocks in the sensing menu. Notice that's sort of like, you know, in here in motion we had, you know, X and Y for the shark, but that's X and Y of the shark. I don't want the X and Y of the shark. I'm interested in the X and Y of the, the mouse. So I want forever to just basically jump to the X and Y of the, the mouse. And that's one way to do it. And so let me run that right now. And you see that that's what it looks like now. And, and in fact, that's okay, but I don't like this approach. I don't like a shark that just jumps that quickly. What I'm more interested in is sort of using the, the cursor as a pointer. I want to use the cursor as, uh, as a pointer, and then the, the shark moves toward my cursor wherever it happens to be. And so I'm not going to use this particular uh, block. Instead, I want to have the mouse or the, cur the shark sort of follow my mouse. And so there's a different way of doing this. I'm going to go into the motion tab. I'm going to use this block that you've not really used before, the idea of pointing towards. Again, if I do the, the button on this, the drop down menu, I can have it point towards the mouse. I can have it point towards the fish. I want it to point towards the mouse. And so what I want this the shark to do is to point toward my mouse and then move toward my mouse. I don't want him to jump all the way to it. I just want him to sort of, you know, get a little bit closer to it. So I'm going to do three. That seems to work pretty well for this. And so what I've got now is a situation where as I move my cursor around the screen, at all times the shark is moving to point toward my cursor and then moving three steps closer to it. And that's not an awful way of having this work, right? He's moving, pointing toward the mouse pointer and getting a little bit closer toward it. And three steps seems to be a pretty good kind of thing with this. Um, you may not like the fact that he spins upside down. You may recall then that we looked uh, in the Jack and Jill program at being able to control the rotation style. Right now, uh, the rotation is full rotation that he's turning upside down. Right? We, so we could have all around. That's what's going on. Remember that left-right is sort of a nice way to have this, where all that the, the, the shark will do is flip left and right. And he won't end up standing on his head. So let me actually change our shark so that when we press the green flag, we change his style to left-right. And now what you see is that the mouse, uh, that the shark doesn't ever turn upside down. He just turns left and right to face my mouse. And that's pretty good. That's a good next increment, except we have a problem. Watch what happens when I leave my cursor alone. The shark goes crazy, right? Well, we need to solve that problem, but we'll solve that in the next video.